to my channel and another week of what's for dinner. This week I actually only have three recipes to share with you. I normally include more recipes in these what's for dinner videos, but this last week was just crazy and I wasn't able to cook as much, but I do have three recipes to share with you this week. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I just want to say welcome. My name is Caitlin. I do upload a new what's for dinner video every single Sunday. I have a crock pot series going on right now. I do lots of meal prep, grocery hauls, and other food related content. So make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss out on those. But let's go ahead and get into this week of what's for dinner. So for this first dinner, I'm making a chicken bacon tater tot casserole. This was a new recipe and I loved how it turned out. So starting off with my mixing bowl, I just have about half a cup of sour cream and then half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. I just did the yogurt to make it a little bit healthier. And then I'm also adding in one can of cream of chicken. Now the original recipe did not call for Rotel, but I did decide to add in a can of that. It added a ton of extra flavor. It didn't make it super spicy or anything. And then I'm also adding in a six ounce package of crumbled up bacon with a packet of ranch seasoning mix. And then for some extra flavor, I did decide to add in garlic powder, onion powder, as well as some salt and pepper. I will have the original recipe linked down below, but I did do my own variations on it. I only did half the amount of sour cream and then I substituted the Greek yogurt in there as well. The Rotel was an extra addition so I will have that link down below for you guys but you can do whatever you want with this recipe. And then for the chicken I just cooked it up in my instant pot. This is two chicken breasts. I just cut it up into cubes and then I'm throwing that in the mixing bowl and getting that mixed in there. And then here I just have a one pound bag of cheddar cheese. I only mixed in probably about half of the bag right off the bat and then I left part of the cheese for on top of the whole casserole. I just thought it would be really good that way. And then you're also going to need about a two pound bag of tater tots. You can either put your tater tots right on top of the casserole, or for me, I just decided to mix them in for something different. Normally when I do tater tot casserole, I put the tater tots on top, but this time I did decide to mix them in. If you want your tater tots to stay nice and crispy, do them on top, but if you want them to kind of like dissolve into the casserole, roll and kind of break apart then I would go ahead and mix them in so now I'm moving over to my 9 by 13 baking dish spraying that with a little bit of olive oil and then I'm just taking that whole casserole mixture and spreading it all around Now I'm just taking that leftover cheddar cheese from before and sprinkling the rest of it right on top and spreading that all around. I did decide to cover mine up with some tin foil. I just didn't want it to dry out. You can decide if you want to do that or not. If you have your tater tots on top, I would just say to not cover it up and then they'll get nice and crispy. So I baked this in the oven at 350 degrees for about an hour. Mine took a little bit longer than the recipe said. It turned out super delicious. We absolutely love this recipe. We just paired it along with a side salad and it was a nice quick and easy dinner. For this next dinner, I'm making one of our all-time favorites. I'm making some KFC Famous Bowls. I did decide to make the chicken nuggets from scratch, so I'm sharing our favorite recipe for those on here. So here I'm melting about a heaping tablespoon of butter, just getting that melted down. And then I'm actually gonna be frying up our breadcrumbs. This makes the chicken nuggets really, really nice and crispy. It makes all the difference here, so definitely don't skip this step. So I'm measuring out about one one and a quarter cups of panko breadcrumbs. I used half Italian and then half of the regular panko breadcrumbs, but definitely make sure to use the panko ones. They just get super nice and crispy. And then you're just gonna cook these up for a couple minutes until they're nice and toasted. 
Now moving over here to my island, I'm just getting my spice mixture ready while the breadcrumbs are toasting up. So I'm going to have this recipe linked down below for you guys, but I'm basically just mixing together paprika, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper with a little bit of cayenne, and it makes the best seasoning for these chicken nuggets. The original recipe is actually for chicken strips, but I decided to do them as nuggets on this night, and they turned out super delicious. Now moving over to another bowl, I just have one egg that I'm mixing with two tablespoons of milk and I'm just getting all of that whisked together. I did decide to use bags to coat my chicken this time, so this is just a third cup of flour with one teaspoon of that seasoning mixture. Go ahead and get all of that mixed together in this Ziploc, or you can do this in a separate dish and then you just dip your chicken in there. But I decided to shake all my chicken just to make the process a little bit faster. Now in this other bag, I have all of the breadcrumbs that I toasted up, and then I'm adding in about an ounce of grated Parmesan and the rest of the seasoning mix and then just get all of that mixed together and you're gonna be ready to coat your chicken. Now I just have a baking sheet. This is a nine by 13 and I'm just spraying that with a little bit of olive oil. And then I have two chicken breasts. I just cut them up into cubes, making sure to trim off any of the fat. And then I'm tossing all of those chunks of chicken right into the flour bag, shaking it up good, making sure everything is well coated. And then all of those chicken chunks are getting tossed right into the egg wash mixture. Now I'm coating those really well in the egg wash and then I'm moving them over to the panko breadcrumb mix. Now I'm gonna shake those up again. And when I did this, I only did about half in the egg wash mixture. I didn't want anything to get too soggy. So I did about half a batch at one time and this worked really well to just shake it all up. It really shortened the process instead of dipping each piece by hand. I just baked these chicken nuggets in a 390 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Now the original recipe was for chicken strips and the cooking time was 20 minutes, but I felt like 15 minutes was about right for these chicken nuggets. They came out perfectly crispy and definitely cooked all the way through. And now I'm just serving them over some mashed potatoes with some brown gravy, some corn, some cheddar cheese. Now if you have never tried KFC Famous Bowls, they are super delicious. They're very easy to throw together. So on this night I actually had some leftover mashed potatoes, so this was actually a very easy meal. The only thing that I had to make was the chicken and then I just warmed everything else up and these were super yummy. So definitely if you've never tried these, give them a shot. Let me know how you like them because they are definitely a family favorite in this house. The next recipe is for some taco lasagna. This is also another new recipe that turned out very delicious. So here I just have one pound of lean ground beef that I'm getting cooked up and ready to go. Make sure it's all the way cooked through. I did decide to add in one onion just for a little extra flavor. You guys know I really like adding onions into my cooking, but I'm just getting all of this browned up. I did decide to add in a little bit of extra seasoning. I just added in some garlic powder, some onion powder, as well as some salt and pepper. And then I'm just getting all of this browned up. Now once my ground beef was completely cooked through, I'm adding in about half a tablespoon of taco seasoning mix. Now that's all that I had on hand, so I did decide to add in some ground cumin, some onion powder, garlic powder, as well as a little bit of chili powder. But otherwise, you're gonna want about half a packet of taco seasoning mix. You can just add that in there and let it cook for a minute or so before adding in the rest of your ingredients.
Now to make this a little bit more saucy, I'm just adding in one can of Rotel tomatoes with about a cup of salsa. I'm just using what I had left over in the fridge, left to use up that I had pulled out of the freezer. Now I'm just gonna let this simmer for maybe like five minutes or so until most of that liquid has cooked off. You do want to make sure that most of it has cooked off so you don't end up with a soggy lasagna. So instead of noodles, we're actually gonna be using tortillas in this recipe and I just decided to add two layers into mine. You can do three layers if you want, but I was just going for simple here. So I just covering the bottom of a 9 by 13 baking dish with the tortillas and then I'm taking about half of that meat mixture and piling it right on top. Now I'm just taking my favorite cheese. So I decided to use a Mexican cheese just to really amp up the flavors here. And then I'm just gonna repeat the process. So I have two more tortillas. I am breaking up those other little pieces just to make it completely covered. Spreading the rest of that meat mixture on there. Some cheese and this dish is gonna be good to go. I just threw this into a 400 degree oven for right around like 15 to 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on it to make sure that it's not baking. You basically just wanna get this warm through and this turned out super delicious we absolutely love this recipe I highly recommend it if you are looking for something just a little bit different than your typical tacos I think you would really enjoy this one I was nervous that the tortillas would get soggy but that absolutely was not the case all right guys that is going to wrap up this week of what's for dinner I really hope that you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up Hit that little subscribe button if you have not already. I do upload a new what's for dinner every Sunday. Lots of crock pot meals, meal prep, and other food related content. So make sure you're subscribed. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. As a young girl, it feels were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free. Without a care